local community, Dayton Children's and the Sunrise Village are teaming up to bring a food market as well as an urgent care. Neighbors say it will be life changing. News Center 7's Kayla McDermott has how this project will benefit the city's west side. I have to pinch myself sometimes to believe that this is really happening. You know? The project is a personal one for Robbie Brandon. I grew up in West Dayton. Grocery stores and doctor's offices and, you know, pharmacies and all this thing was within walking with distance when I grew up. And none of that's there now. She wants the West Side to get back to what it once was. And that begins with fixing some problems. One issue, there are little to no grocery stores. The USDA has West Dayton listed as a food desert. I'm not far if, as long as you're driving. Gotcha. So, so walking wise. So walking wise, I think to get exactly what you're looking for, mm -hmm. there will be a bit of a stretch. You gotta go on top of the hill. It's not no easy journey, Ray. Those reasons are why this sign showing a market coming soon is currently in the heart of the Miami Chapel neighborhood on Germantown Street. You won't see the unhealthy items, the soda pops and, the, you know, the wines, the chips and things that will be focused on healthy, um, fresh produce. I've been waiting on them to come on in. So you're excited for that market? I'm ready for it to come on in. Yes, I am. But that's not all. The market is also going to be a part of a pediatric urgent care. What they really need is that on-demand care. But when families have no place else to go, what are they supposed to do, right? So we want to give them an option. That makes it really more um, accommodating for the residents that here live here. Dayton Children's and the Sunlight Village are coming together to have one location better serve the entire west side. It feels really, really good to be a part of bringing something back home. You know what I'm... Let's bring in Kayla live now. Kayla, this is very exciting. This project is going to cost about $8 million and Dayton Children's is leading the construction here. That's right, and they are still looking for some sources for that funding, but they do plan to break ground this spring. Cheryl? Good to hear. Thank you, Kayla. Top of this, John.